welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm super excited to film because I have got two months worth of empties for you. Um, everybody who has watched my past couple of videos knows I've mentioned that I'm in the process of moving. So right now we're kind of living around boxes and we're moving next Friday, Saturday. So I'm looking to get rid of this trash so that we don't take it to our new place. So let's jump into it. Um, it's going to be a little bit long, but I want to try and keep this around 10 minutes. So let's get started. The first item that I used up is is a pack of 100 cotton pads from Joe Fresh. I love those cotton pads. I'll just keep repurchasing them. And I've also used up a pack of the 300 um, cotton puffs. And I prefer the cotton pads over the cotton puffs. I feel like the cotton puffs absorb too much product. And it's a, I think it's a waste of product because um, it, ab it absorbs more than I need to, say, get off a nail polish or whatever. So I think I'm going to stick to cotton pads from now on. The next thing I used up is from Sephora. It's an instant depuffing eye mask. Looks like this. And I got this... Um, and wore it just before we'd gone on a, pl a plane ride last month um, just to hydrate my eye area because the air in the plane is super dry and um, you know I'm always looking for like that extra moisture to bring to that area so I thought that was good and I would definitely I know I don't know if I'd repurchase that exact mask but I definitely think you know purchasing um, an a hydrating mask before you know going on any sort of plane ride is definitely a good idea uh, the next couple things I used up is three <laughs> two minis and one large of the Colgate total toothpaste so the two minis we'd taken on our trip and then the bigger size one we just used up and we free purchased that the next item, I absolutely love this item. It smells so good. It's from Bath & Body Works, and it's the Sugared Vanilla Wish Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. This smells so, so, so good. The one thing about the Bath & Body Works hand soaps, though, is I find they're very concentrated. You could almost add, you could almost take half and add and add water to it and it would still be just as effective so um sometimes I do that this time I didn't do that so it's probably why I used it up a lot faster but I definitely love that scent the next thing is from Clarence Paris and it is the gentle foaming cleanser with cottonseed for normal or combination skin and I actually cut the top open to get everything out of there because I really like this um cleanser and it is a little bit pricey it's 30 I think it's 34 Canadian dollars so maybe it's 30 American dollars and about a year ago I switched to this cleanser and I really don't regret it I have I would say normal dry normal to dry skin so I don't want something that's going to strip too much of the oils from my face and I think that that cleanser does a really good job um, the next product that I got is something I got when I bought the mask, uh, the Sephora hydrating mask. Just a little sample. It's Philosophy Miracle Worker Anti-Aging Eye Repair. It's got this and um, I quite like this. It was a very thick consistency. Um, you know, it's not something I would wear during the, the day. It's definitely uh, a um, night cream. It's an eye cream for you. It's a night cream for your eyes. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, I, I quite liked it. I think the only thing about this is that it does make your skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun. So if you do use this, you do have to wear a sunscreen during the day um, on, on your eye area. And I know right now my sunscreen or my under eye cream during the day doesn't have a sunscreen. So if I was to switch to that um, night cream for my under eye area. I would have to switch my day cream just to make sure I had that extra protection. The next couple products I used up um, is, I've never had this in my empties videos before, but I thought I'd throw it in because there's kind of a funny story. Um, so it's de little mini dental floss, and I'd been to the dentist recently, and I don't know if anybody else has this problem when they go to the dentist, but you know, you have to be honest with them and tell them, do you brush, do you floss? I'm like, yeah, I brush all the time. Do you floss? Well, no, I'm just, I'm not a flosser. I've never got into the habit of it. So now my dentist said, you know, you have to get into the habit of it. So that's why I have those two mini um, samples of dental floss. The next product um, you might be asking why I'm showing it 
in this video. It's a after sun aloe vera gel and the reason why you might be asking why I'm showing it is because it's still full. But I had two of these and one of them I used up but I threw it out so I just wanted to show you that this is something I used up this month. And I really like that if you get a sunburn putting like an aloe vera gel does work really well for me and I assume other people. Um, next product is from Pantene Pro-V that's the sheer volume silicone free shampoo looks like this I finished the conditioner um, from the same like brand and the same um, type of thing that it's promising um, a couple months ago or last empties that I did maybe and I yeah I recently finished the shampoo I quite like this it definitely does provide volume to your hair you know it's not I wish there was a shampoo that just had it all that did volume and moisture and protection and everything in one I feel like you can have you know there's just shampoos out there that just promise one thing and I think this shampoo would be great if it had like volume plus moisture I think that that would be good but I want to buy the um, what's it called the clarifying shampoo so um, I need to run out and get some because I don't keep backups of products it just dresses me out to see backup so right now I think today I have to go out and buy some new shampoo uh, next product I finished is from Crest and it is uh, just a mouthwash mini mini size and I like having those when I travel um, next one is from Clinique. It's a liquid facial soap in extra mild for very dry to dry skin. And I don't uh, use these on an everyday basis. I do use the Clarins um, Cottonseed Cleanser, but I do like this size also for traveling. So I had used that up. And then the next couple products are all kind of the same. So I used up three chapsticks this uh, last two months. One is just from Avon and I like to take off the like this outside packaging here because when it's in my purse it tends to just get like dust and dirt on it and I don't like that. So I generally take them off which is why this one is completely bare but I used up that one from Avon if I didn't say. Um, the next one I used up is from Nivea and it's the Hydro Care. I have already bought a backup of this and what I do is I like it so much that I take out the bottom part there and I put it in like another container. So right now I just have like the tiniest little bit left in another container but this is completely done. The next product is from Jersey Shore Sun yeah and it's called the anti-aging lip conditioner this I got in my ipsy bag I didn't take out the the bottom of this one because it wasn't my favorite favorite it was great uh, you know during the summer months but right now I'm not really into the coconut smell and the next uh, lip balm that I used up well I didn't use it up but I used some of it and I'm just gonna get rid of it because um, it is this brown color here so it's a gingerbread lip balm from Avon and I got this as a gift at Christmas last year and the reason why I'm gonna get rid of it is because it has like this brown tinge to it and that just looks terrible um with my skin tone so I and I don't want to wear it at night because I have a white pillowcase and it would just get all over my white pillowcase so there's no point in doing that the next three products I'm just going to show quickly because they're from my finished five by fall I had a lip gloss uh uh, what's it called benefit what's up deluxe size sample and then the Maybelline instant age rewind I will post the video down below for um, those I'll post those videos down below if you want to check out more of my opinion on those products and then the last couple products I have one is from Mac and it's a mineral moisture eye cream I got a tiny little sample when I had bought like a brush and a lipstick at MAC recently and um, I didn't really like this eye cream because it's a little bit too sticky. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be for nighttime or for daytime but I did use it during the day and it just was like not 
you know, I don't know, is this too wet in that area? Like it didn't soak into my skin. It just seemed to stay on the top. So I ended up just using this like on my arm <laughs> as a, as a cream. The next pro so I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy that obviously because I, I didn't like it. The next product I used up is from e.l.f. and it's the waterproof eyeliner pen. So I basically use this. I mean, you can't tell how much product is is left in here but I just used it until it died and by died I mean dried out because this has like a felt tip applicator and I have another eyeliner pen from Starlux that I got in my Ipsy bag and I've had it for about the same amount of time as this one and that tip is still going strong there's still a lot of product coming out of there so you know maybe there is something to say for investing your money I mean in certain products in invest in paying a little bit more for a better brand um, because this hasn't lasted as long as the other one and then the last product I think yes the last product that I have um, that I used up in the last two months is from makeup forever and it's the smoky extravagant mascara looks like this and I really like this this the brush on this is really nice because on the outside you know you get like the application for your outer lashes but then it's a bit smaller on the inside so it does allow you to get those little ones um on the inside um the only thing is i won't be repurchasing i won't be purchasing this is just a deluxe size sample i won't be purchasing the the larger size because I do love the Clinique High Impact Mascara and I have a sample of that right now and then when I finish that, that is the end of all of my mascara samples and I'm just going to go ahead and buy the Clinique, the the large size of the Clinique Mascara. I do did want to try the Roller Ball or Roller Girl, I think it's a Roller Girl Mascara from, I think it's Benefit who just came out with that. And that seems interesting. So maybe if I could pick that up like as a, um, a point perk at Sephora, maybe I would try that one out. But I think I'm just going to stick with what I know works for me. So that is it. That's my empties for the month of September and October. I did have a lot of things this month. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything and um, hopefully my opinions can help you in making your purchases. And um, yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, which is going to be either a pan that palette Actually, I have a lot of videos to film because I haven't been filming that much lately, but um, I have a Pan That Palette update, I have a Finish 6 by Christmas update, and then my Project Polish update is long overdue, but I've just been really struggling with the polishes because they're not the greatest quality and they've been really damaging my nails, so I've been taking breaks between when I am um, doing a manicure and pedicure. Um, I'll explain more of that in my update for that, but one of those videos will be coming out next, and yeah, I hope that you had a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye!